Just looking at the oaks, uh, you've got to enable and uh, coronet in there. First of all, enable, how's she after her run at Yeah, Chester? she's in good form since Chester. We were really thrilled with her there. She's, she's, she ran well in behind shutter speed, um, just got slightly boxed, but ran a great race. Step, drop and trip, and she's Nathaniel out of concentric. She really liked it. So, you know, we're, we're really looking forward to the oaks. We're in no doubt of mind how good the favourite is. I mean, she, you know, she didn't have a great run in the guineas and she's got a gorgeous pedigree and she's beautifully balanced type of filly for this track. So we know with her and, and a couple of others, it's a very, very good Oaks. The Oaks is interesting from the point of view that you can see a lot of exceptional fillies there, whereas the Colts are yet to put their, poke their heads through and I'm sure it'll come. But then if you look at the last two years, there was a filly called Minding and a filly called Found and they turned out to be the very best out of Aden's stable uh, ahead of all the Colts in those two years, so it can happen. And uh, a quick word on Coronet, what's the, the news? Yeah, she that? ran a lovely trial, and uh, she, you know, she was slow away, and, uh, but they went an even sort of pace, but I like the way she finished, and she'll come here um, wanting every inch of the mile and a half. And how would the two compare? And Nabel would be the, the sharper of the two fillies, and you could see that, just watch their races, and you'll see. So, but. Uh, but this, is, but finally, for, for this girl, she's the grave of it, she's finally going to run, Coronets have finally run over the trip she's been longing for, a mile and a half.